my question to you is, do okay. you think there is another team out there in history that has better depth in squad than this current Man City, Man City side? The reason I say this, yeah. Man City on the weekend, they rested Stones, Sterling, Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, Torres, yeah. Cancelo and Phil Foden. <laughs> You're thinking, okay, they've rested those players who started the game. Unreal. So they're starting 11 for that game. Yeah. Edison, Walker, Piaz, Laporte, Mendy, Fernandinho, Rodri, yeah. Mares, De Bruyne, Gabriel Jesus, and the guy who's leaving at the end of the season, Sergio Aguero. Uh, oh, wow. Is there another team in history? Now, we've... We're both Manchester United fans. Yeah, yeah. You know, we saw when Ronaldo, Rooney, Tevez, you know, they used to dominate the Premier League, the Champions League, that that counter counter-attacking goal that we saw against Arsenal. But we had fringe players that would come in and do a job, you know, the likes of Park and John O'Shea, um, Darren Fletcher, players who might not be in the starting eleven, but they did a job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This current Man City side. Is there another team out there that has a better depth in squad? Mate, that's different gravy. The <laughs> the Man City squad at the moment is is different gravy. Like the like you say, their depth is unreal. I mean, for for Laporte to be everyone all oh, last season absolutely raving about Laporte and uh, how he'd come in and just he was just he was he was touted as like the player to change the Man City's defensive defensive woes and when Laporte was out the team people were like City looked a different team but now Ruben Diaz has come in and then Laporte can't get a game it's it's and Laporte lit. was supposed to be like one of the best defenders in the world he yeah. came in and we thought all right so that's the company replacement and then Diaz comes in and makes Stones look world class you know remember when Suarez made Daniel Sturridge look like he was one of the best strikers in the Premier League. Yeah. Look at Stones come in and we're, we're trying to think, all right, is he going to do that for England? Oh, honestly, I was watching that game on the weekend. I, I just couldn't think of another squad. I had, look, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of teams that have a great starting eleven. Look yeah, at Liverpool yeah. last season. 100%. You know, Manchester United when they were uh, on top. You know, yeah. great starting eleven, and, and you could bring on a few players or whatever. But this is a full squad like... One of your questions is whether Man City will win all four trophies. And yeah, yeah. The, and the question on everyone's lips is, how, when do we start talking about the all four trophies thing? Is it when they've won a to couple not, of trophies? Today, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, honestly, the, this Man City side, like, as, as much as I you know, hate Man City, and, and you know what it's like being a United fan, just looking at them and thinking... My God, man! Imagine if Pep had come to United and and see what what could have happened. Yeah. But the way the the squad that they have, you know, Raheem Sterling not on the pitch, it's Phil ridiculous. Foden, who, who's still doing his GCSEs, you know, his mom has to bring him <laughs> to training. You know, he can't drive to training yeah, or yeah. whatnot. Uh, it's just, uh, it, it's uh, absolutely in awe of the the depth in squad that they have and the quality exactly. in that depth in squad. Yeah. Well, to answer your question is in how, is there a team in history or isn't there a team in history? Because that's it that that gives uh I need a definitive answer. Um I'm going to probably say no. I I don't think clubs had the finances in yesteryear to be able to afford a massive squad like that. And I think one thing that Pep's done that is really uh well, commendable really is to allow like is to make all of those players happy like how how you can be dropped um from from game to game somebody like i mean aguero maybe not be happy that's why he's leaving or maybe there's contract situation we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes but there's a lot of players like gundogan okay for example he's played a lot this season but in in you know last season the season before that he was he was hardly getting any game time at all but yet he can uh he can keep those players happy. And I think that's because, you know, what keeps a player happy? Okay, you haven't played much football, but here's an here's a Premier League, here's an FA Cup, here's a here's a um well, Carabao Cup, EFL Cup on your record. I think that's the only way that he could have done it. 
is to win trophies because as soon as those trophies dry up, then the players start to be unhappy. Um, yeah, definitely. But definitely. he's managed to keep them happy because of the amount of trophies that, that they've won. So to actually to answer your to answer your question, no, I I literally don't think in history there's been a team with this much strength in depth before. So that <laughs> that is that's my answer. And what do you think if you had to give a definitive yes or no answer? I don't think there is. No, I honestly don't think because we we obviously we all know Man City has spent money over the years. You know we. That's just the way they've gone about it. They followed the Chelsea kind of um, you know, routine where they buy players and you know get get the team. But look at the players that are performing this season. They're not the players that they've bought. Like okay, yeah, besides Diaz, but yeah, you know, Raheem Sterling, Bernardo Silva, Cancelo. You know, Cancelo. What position does he play? Right back, right wing back, oh. centre midfield, right attack, Versatile. right forward. Like, where's he playing? Like he's. He's that ver- he's that player that's so versatile, but yeah. he he he's not ver- he's not versatile coming off the bench. He's versatile in that starting eleven. Yeah, and yeah. Honestly, that that it, it you got to give credit to what Pep's done with some of these players. Hundred percent. I, I honestly going back to the question. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone that has a team. Yes, like I said, you'll get starting elevens that yeah will be better than this current Man City side. Mm-hmm. You know they they're doing this without a striker. But when you're thinking about the depth in squad, and we always go back to that question: How many will they win four trophies? Well, this shows why you need that depth in squad. You know why you need such a, a strong um, players that you can come off the bench. You know, put them aside for one game. You know, Raheem Sterling. Yeah, he played for England. He didn't play. Phil Ford and didn't play, you know. Stones didn't play. Gundogan didn't play. Bernardo Silva didn't play. Yeah. But the players that did play: Kevin De Bruyne, Aguero, Jesus. I don't know, Jesus not everyone cup of tea, but he does a job. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I just don't see anyone that is anyone has a team with such a big depth in squad. Yeah. So I, I mean, I think we've answered the question. If you want to give yourself uh, a shout out, tell. Tell the people that are watching what you're all about. I'm going to post your link in the chat as well now so that they've got a straight link to follow you. Um, I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that, Dex. So, nice. uh, guys, if you don't know, uh, my name's Adam. I'm from Couch Sports Football. Uh, I do a similar thing to Deck, um, where I commentate on live games. I do more of the commentary side of things. I think Deck does more of the opinion side of things, so I need to work on a little bit of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you can find me over on twitch.tv slash football. just going through a bit of a rebranding in terms of images uh, images and uh, logos and everything like that but yeah, you'll find me live tomorrow with the Champions League and on Wednesday um, I can't decide which game to watch tomorrow so I'll be having both the games on um, so yeah, definitely come by hit uh, deck up but guys, just so you know if you're in the chat I see currently I'm on, I'm on Twitch right now and I see there's about 11 of you in the chat if you're in the chat, guys, Beck is doing something that not a lot of people do. He's doing a phone in for you football fans around the world. So if you're a football fan, I'll tell you now you're a pundit. You can say whatever <laughs> you want. Every football fan has an opinion. So get in the chat, get on that call, get on here, share it out with everyone that you know, let everyone know what's going on here and get those opinions shared. Because one thing's for sure, England, Gareth, Gareth Southgate picked his England side. How many opinions did people have on that? You know, it, it's just That's just one subject. You watch football, you have your own opinions, get in the call and let's blow this up and make sure Deck <laughs> carries this on weekly. Yeah, that's it. I mean, the success of this is all dependent on, on you guys, right? Um, but having said that, no pressure to call in, but... Obviously, there's a, this isn't a pressured situation. Unless you want to spin the wheel, then there's a little bit of pressure because you don't know what the uh, <laughs> what the question's going to be. Um, but yeah, we're all friends here. It's just a discussion like you were down at, have down at the pub. You know, you're not going to be marked. I'm not going to give you a mark out of 100. And it's, it's not like your GCSEs. Um, <laughs> there's no pressure at all. It's just having a, a little discussion. So thank you so much. And you can join the, 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 the queue again. Literally, I'll, I'll delete you from the from the queue list and if you want to have your say maybe on the spin the wheel just put exclamation mark call in again and then um you can you'll join the back of the queue and you can either come with another topic you can either come with another topic or we can um 
we can spin the wheel. <laughs> uh, definitely. I've, I've just seen one of uh, the people in the chat there asking, who do you think's better, Scholes, Lampard or Gerrard? Well, you know yeah. what? We're not going to answer that question. You need to get the call in so we can talk yes. about it live. I was going to so, say that. <laughs> so for the rest of you guys, definitely get in the chat. You know, get on the calls. Um, Deck, thanks for having me on. No, I appreciate it, buddy. In there. I said there I was going to get there. You've made history, um, mate. And, uh, yeah, definitely made history, and I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay, right. See ya. Oh, oh, bye. Bye. There you go. History in the making. History in the making there. The very first caller, Couch Sports Football. And you can have your say as well. Just exclamation mark call in and we'll join the